In this video we're going to be looking at the new Neuro Sound Bank for Serum on Ghost Hack. I've got a quick little example of some of the sounds to show you so let's have a listen. Okay, so let's start off by looking at the Reese. On the last note, I've got a pitch bend uh, vent set up here in the MIDI and in Serum it's set to 12 semitones, so it drops down by an octave on the last note. The filters and compressor really make a huge deal of difference on this patch. I'm just using lots of units in D-Tune and there's an LFO here which is controlling the wavetable positions, the cutoff of this peak notch filter and the distortion and this peak notch filter as well on the effects. And let's have a look at the next patch. This base patch here, so if I turn off the effects, And let's have a look at how this sound was built up. So we've got a sub oscillator, which is down an octave. I've just added some low ends. And then this first oscillator, which has got unison detune of three. And that's being frequency modulated by the sub. And then this oscillator is frequency modulating oscillator B, which just adds some extra harmonics to the sound. And then we add the bandpass notch filter. And that's being controlled by this LFO here. There's also this LFO controlling the frequency position which morphs between a bandpass and notch filter. So the first effect we've got is this linfold distortion. What I've done is use the high pass filter just so that it's not messing with the low end too much. And then mixing this in is just adding some higher harmonics. And again, this LFO here is controlling the drive and the mix amount. Then we've got some chorus to add some stereo width. And that's being controlled by this macro down here. Then we have the compressor, which really makes a huge deal of difference to a lot of these sounds. As it's based on the OTT in Ableton. Um, Expo made their own version as a VST which they gave away for free and then they've incorporated that into Serum and it's just a really cool way for blowing up sounds. Then the next patch. So again, I'll start by taking off the effects. And on here, we've got some pink noise being 
controlled by this LFO here, which is controlling the amplitude. So you get this syncopated pink noise, which doesn't sound like that much on its own, but when that goes through the filters and distortion with the oscillators, it adds extra harmonics and grit to the sound. Again, the compressor really makes a huge deal of difference here. Really brings out a lot of the high end. And then the next patch is a variation of this patch above. I think the filter cutoff was just in a slightly different position. That was about it, really. So then for this section, what I've done is I've taken this original riff here and I've chopped up the notes and spread them across three instances of Serum. So you just get something a bit more interesting. It's a really cool, simple little trick for getting variations and adding interest to your tracks. So yeah, check out the patches and have fun.